Hello and welcome to FDS. My name is Nate and I'm your host. Today we are talking about the Apache 2800 Weatherproof Protective Case. A couple of months ago, a commenter suggested that I take a look at one of these as an option for carrying decks. Since I am always looking for an excuse to go to Harbor Freight, I took them up on it. The Apache line of cases are hard molded plastic cases that can be purchased at Harbor Freight, which is a discount hardware store here in the United States. They range in size from the 1800, which is about the size of a lunchbox, all the way up to the 9800, which is much larger. These cases are made specifically to keep the contents safe in travel, so that way they don't break or misfire. All Apache cases come with a couple of layers of tearaway foam that you can mold to whatever shape you want for whatever items you want to keep in the case. So you could keep camera equipment in here, you could maybe keep a boom boom stick, or you could keep a collection of commander decks, which is what I did with this. I decided to put in commander decks in here because I think this might be my Innistrad commander battle box. Now the 2800 comes with two layers of tearaway foam. There is a layer of foam in the lid as well as a layer of solid foam in the bottom of the box to provide protection down below. And then you can use the two layers of tearaway foam to shape the foam as you need. I'll admit I've had this for over a month, but I have been reluctant reluctant to actually do the review because I knew I would have to commit to tearing away the foam. And I didn't want to do that until I absolutely knew what I wanted to do with the box. I was overthinking it, especially because you can buy refills on the foam. So if you realize down the line that the setup you made for your decks you don't really care for, you can go back and get more foam and try again. And I'll have links in the description down below. Also on this box, it has holes on the corners where you can put a lock. It is reinforced by metal. The clasps are also molded plastic. The hinge here is actually nice and a little firm so when you lift the lid up it actually stays in place which I like because the box doesn't take up a double footprint it only takes up its actual footprint but if you bump it while you have your hands in the box the lid probably won't fall on you unless you give it a whack. It also has that IP65 waterproof rating which I checked it isn't to be submerged you are not supposed to submerge this into water but it can handle direct blasts of water jets. So essentially, if you get caught in a downpour and you have this, your decks are going to be fine. As is with pretty much everything else in this box, the handle is also molded plastic. The only bits of metal in this box are the hinge pins, the clasp pins, as well as the pins on the handle themselves. That being said, everything that is plastic is thick molded plastic. Yeah, it isn't going to be wearing down or breaking down anytime soon. I will note that the foam in the lid as well as the foam in the bottom of the box are not held in place with any Anything. So there isn't any glue or anything like that. They are basically friction fit. Now the foam in the bottom, you're probably not going to have to worry about that. But the one in the lid, I have opened some of these where the foam just falls out every time. So you might want to reinforce that hold with maybe some glue or what have you for the one on the lid, if you so choose. All in all, this took me maybe 10 minutes to set up and do. It was very quick. The foam was easy to deal with. I like this box. I think it is an excellent protection. I like the tearaway foam pieces that you can then shape into whatever you like. You also can upgrade and get nicer types of foam to put in this box if you like. Now these are a little expensive, but frankly, compared to larger deck boxes like the Smart Hive or the Cards Layer 400 Plus, they are on par about the same price. And if you catch a good sale or get a coupon, which is constantly happening with Harbor Freight, you can get it for a cheaper price. Not to mention that there are many alternatives elsewhere, so you can look online and maybe check out Amazon. I'll see if I can find any and I'll put the links in the description. I wanted to bring this up with the holidays coming. I know probably a lot of people are looking for gift ideas. Well, I can tell you, being someone that plays a lot of Magic and is always looking for new and interesting storage ideas, that if I would get this for Christmas, I would be very happy because it's an excellent way to carry your cards. Is it overkill? Absolutely. Your cards don't need to be protected like a weapon, but if you want them to, there's a cheap solution. I am going to point something out about this box. It does fit into a certain aesthetic. This looks like what it was designed to be, which is a carrying case for weapons or weapon paraphernalia. You can get some of the Apache line in other colors, though the 1800 and 2800 only come in black, but the 3800 and above 
above come in either black, orange, yellow, or a army green color thing. One other thing with this box is that you should click right there. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.